States. Everybody thinks that they know that Karl Marx said that religion was the opium of the people. In fact, he said uh, no such thing. What he, what he said, you can find it. It's a very beautiful uh, passage in the, in the introduction to his critique of um, Hegel's philosophy of right. He says, religion is the heart of the heartless world, uh, the sigh of the oppressed creature, the spirit of the spiritless situation. He then adds as a metaphor, okay. it's, it's, it is an opiate for the people. He adds, this is the crucial bit, religion, uh, excuse me, criticism of religion has plucked the flowers from the chain. Not so that men shall wear the chain without any consolation, but so that they may break the chain and cull the living flower. And as you can see, this makes the distinction that I think um, Monsignor has been aiming to make, that I want to take up, which is this. But to be a, um, an atheist and a materialist is not to be a reductionist. It's not to say there is no mystery, or that life is merely a, a series of chemical reactions, or that love or orgasm are, are, are biologically reducible to formulae. Uh, that would be boring. It's to make the distinction between the numinous and the transcendent, which we do need and will always seek, and the supernatural. And I think it's a very important distinction. Verdi could write his requiem while not being a believer in God. But he wouldn't have said, he said, people can do without God, but they can't do without music. Uh, they can't do without some feeling of, of magnificence and drama and pain and struggle that's beyond themselves. Absolutely, that's important. But I think to distinguish it from the supernatural, from ancestor worship, from human sacrifice, from, from primitive uh, ritual, is of the very first importance. For, I'll just say one thing before I stop. I, I've written a short book about the Parthenon. I believe it's a building of fantastic importance for Western civilization. Uh, I also believe its sculpture should be reunified, um, preferably in Athens. Uh, and I think that the study of this building is, is, is essential, and that if we were to lose that building, we would be poorer as a species by an incalculable amount. But I don't believe in the cult of Pallas Athena. I don't believe in, at all in the Eleusinian mysteries, as I understand them. I don't believe in Athenian imperialism. I think it may be possible that on that frieze, actually human sacrifice is depicted. Uh, though, even though we revere Greek philosophy, it had its dark side. But it is possible, by the use of intelligence and science and discrimination, to have what is valuable from the anthropology of our spiritual past without, without believing that the heavens are full of supervising devils or other tyrants, the worst kind, the ones who claim to be benign. It's the birth of science is a beautiful thing. When one of the reasons is its purifying power over superstition and, uh, and uncritical religious uh, convictions and practices and intolerance and uh, horror that uh, unfortunately we see is in fact not over today. And, and so to me the science is a blessing. Okay? And, and I'm not just sitting there reading about this, but applying it in my own life. I mean, I live things at a very small scale, but I go through the daily experience of, 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 of innocent, seeing innocent people suffer, not understanding why things have to happen. I have to deal with this every day. And in, in that, the, the science, if I may say so, encourages me to, to try to understand. I mean, if a person is sick, mentally ill, as someone very close to me is, if a person is like that, then, uh, you know, what does science recommend? What has been found? My mother with Alzheimer's, you know, is there anything that can be given to her? Again, these are not cosmic issues, but they're my own little cosmos every day. And in it, the fruits and results of science is something I welcome and I admire. To me, however, it's not only science that, that serves to give this critique that is so important. Uh, to me, faith, my faith encourages me to tell science that it is worthwhile to pursue its, its, uh, its path and its integrity because science, this very knowledge, this very beautiful, has been as misused as has religion been. In, uh, in, in the history of the world, I don't think neither one, science or the religious world, can have a claim to, uh, to moral superiority.